You've probably noticed, like I have, that professionals and amateurs don't swing the same on their tee shots. But that's to be expected. It is the professional's job, after all. But they do so well because they have an understanding of the fundamentals. And if you understand the fundamentals, you can make your tee shots better. I'm not saying you'll be as long and, and as accurate, perhaps, as a Luke Donald or a Daniel Fancic, but you will be able to hit your driver better and put the ball in play more often with greater distance. Let's look at what the pros do. They'll set the ball forward in the stance. That's towards the left of the centre of the swing. This centre, if you like, where my heart is, I turn around very aggressively. This is the way the professionals wind up in the back swing and unwind in the through swing. It's an aggressive turn around a fairly steady centre. Contrast that with the amateur, who so often in the back swing doesn't complete the turn and leans on the ball and then falls back as they hit the ball, trying to stay behind it, because you've read about that, but not doing so in a very productive way. Second power loss is in the leverage. You'll notice with a professional that in the backswing, when they wind up as hard as they do with their body, they're also using the arm and wrist swing to maximum effect. It might be Colin Montgomery's swing, which is a long, flowing, wristy swing, or Tiger Woods' swing, which is much shorter and firmer. But either way, they're using their levers to maximum effect, so that when they come down into impact, they can fully release the club through into the finish. Again, can't trust that with many amateurs who don't really know they want to control backswing, how far back is the correct distance, arms bending, wrist bending, not making the best use of their levers, and then coming into the ball, either hitting early, releasing the wrist with a very weak impact position, or trying so hard to hit late that they never remember to release at all, and the wrists go through in a blocked position. So let's have a look at the summary there, because there's a lot of technical information for you to digest. Firstly, the ball position to the left of centre. Secondly, the balance. Let's get that centre turning around a pretty fixed point so that it can unleash the power in the downswing. Leverage. Full swing with your arms and wrists using your own power potential. It's different for everyone. As you come into impact, release the forearms, let them cross over and power through into the finish. Let's see if I can remember all that. It's not too bad. <laughs>